السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته معكم سامي العلوني from Yambo Industrial College from Electrical and Electronic Engineering Department my specialization is Electrical Power Engineering Technology and I'm gonna talk about one of the most important subjects in Electrical Power Engineering Technology which is Control System Analysis Control System Analysis it describes the relationship between different systems and how it behaves uh, what is the characteristics of the system as an introduction to this subject uh, I will give model one it's about mathematical foundation and on lecture one we will discuss about Laplace transform Laplace transform is a very powerful mathematical tool. It transforms ordinary differential equations into algebraic equations. As we know, any physical system can be described by differential equations. So, the definition of the Laplace transform is as follows. If we have a function of f of t and we want to transfer it, transfer it into Laplace transform, simply the Laplace transform transfer function from the time domain into the frequency complex domain. This can be written in this form of s equal to integral from 0 to infinity f of t multiplied by e minus s t dt whereas s is equal to sigma plus j omega it's a complex variable S is a complex variable because it contains real components and imaginary components. Now we will take this term in the Laplace definition E minus S T replace s with its value sigma plus j omega t this will equal to e minus sigma t dot e minus j omega t we know by Euler formula that e minus j omega t is equal to cosine omega t plus j sine omega t so we will substitute this value in here so e minus st in the Laplace definition will equal to e minus sigma t multiplied by cosine j omega omega t plus j sine omega t now we have two terms that's this term and this term. From here we know that we will know that this is exponential growth or decay. It uh, depends on 
sigma so sigma is exponential growth or decay so here is minus because here is minus so you will change this sign into minus for example if we have a function f of t equal to e minus sigma t in the graph it will be shown here to start from 1 and decaying exponentially until it reach to 0 while if there is an, another function f of t equal to e sigma t it will exponentially grow until it reach infinity now what about omega omega is oscillation frequency the frequency that the system oscillated with. what if sigma equal to zero in this here what if this one equal to zero uh, sigma is equal to 0 means it's equal to 1 what remains is cosine omega t minus j sine omega t how this will appear in the graph it will have a normal frequency 